Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So I've got another project I'm going to be starting. I'm going to be doing something called a huga culture bed. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Huga culture is basically where you just mound up a whole bunch of wood and let that decay, and that forms a bed to be able to plant some veggies in. Now it takes like six months for that to be ready to plant, maybe even longer, depending on what kind of wood you use and how big the pieces are. A couple of you had suggested, and also some research I did, I think huga culture might be actually really good for my soil. I've got pretty hard clay pack soil with a lot of rocks in it and it becomes very difficult to be able to till this. If you guys remember those last videos, I mean, I pulled out wheelbarrows full of rocks for each one of these strips. It is gonna be really hard because I've got to dig a little bit into the soil to be able to start the hugo culture. Um, I'm gonna be digging about six inches in. Be better to be a foot, but I don't think I can get a foot in, uh, at least not in a couple days it might take me a long time and I just don't want to do that. This isn't a quick project, this is going to take a while, but I think once I've got the bed in, it'll be really good. Um, probably even better than some of these tilled sections for growing stuff. So it begins. A little easier right now. This must be a spot without a whole lot of rocks. Oh, I just hit one. Usually I would have already pulled up tons of rocks. So I got about a three foot by, I would say this is about 20 foot section here. All right, so I laid out a tarp here. I'm gonna start putting the dirt, you know, with this huga culture thing, you gotta mound the dirt back on top. All right, Eli's out helping me. I'm taking a little break. He's coming and getting some. Thanks, bud. You're doing good. I'm getting an edge going here with this. And it's also helping to break apart this. All right, I got this all edged. I do notice that there's a little bit of a wonky spot back here, kind of bowed out. So we'll get this a little straighter. This will come out a little bit more, but I'm gonna dig all this up, this dirt. And that'll make it easier for me to see that line. But let's get this dug up, throw onto the tarp. I've got maybe five inches, four inches of depth here. I'm gonna go through and till more and try to get this a little deeper. a big rock. See if I can. It's right on the edge. It's huge. It's uh, larger than this claw thing. So my wife came and helped a little bit and we, we got quite a bit more. I mean, look at all that dirt there. So, I mean, we completely covered that, but there is still a lot that we got to get out. I'm just, we're done. We're tired. We're old. I'm too old. You know, I'm 40 guys, so that's a, it's a, it's a lot. So I'm I'm gonna go ice my shoulder and have some iced tea and a lot of water. I'll come back to this tomorrow or the next day, and we should be able to get the rest of this dirt out. The next morning. So we finally got this dug. You can see all this dirt here. It is a massive pile. That was a lot of work, guys. We are gonna start filling it with this here. This is all the the wood logs and on the bottom are larger pieces on the top are smaller so we're gonna have to pull off the smaller and grab the larger pieces on the bottom and that's fine and we'll go ahead and line this with as much of the larger pieces as possible try to fill in gaps with the smaller you don't want this sparse you want it really tight in there all the i guess those are pretty large i'll put the larger pieces in and then we can reorganize it later it's a pretty large piece I'm gonna have to cut some of those branches off. Let me get my saw. I probably should have done this a little smarter. Moved everything over. Cause I've got to now, almost like a game of Tetris, try to get these as tight as possible in here. So everything is pretty tight in there. Um, there are quite a few gaps though, but I am gonna come in with the smaller pieces, try to shove them in the gaps and really make this as tight as possible. And after I do that, I am done for the day and I'll have to come back tomorrow for the rest of it. All right, let's see what time is it? Two o'clock, been going most of the day here with this guys. I was digging from pretty early this morning. I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty tired. But I do wanna bring some more of these sticks over. And I mean, I've got all these like pieces of sticks on the ground everywhere so i'll probably use that too i loaded this up with some wood just picking it up off the ground all over 
like I said, I've got tons of it. I've got more. So I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll probably get three or four of these loaded with still a whole lot to spare. Well, that is looking really good, guys. But I've got more to go. Back here, I've got this big wood pile. We're using the pitchfork and just grabbing some. And you can see how rich this is underneath. So once I you know, started scooping away this... Uh, really the, nice black soil. Yeah, so once I started chipping away this the um, wood on top, get that away. Um, underneath was almost, I mean, a lot of like mold. And as you can see, that's super rich and dark and um, almost, you know, almost turn it into dirt. We still got some wood chips in there, so I think this is gonna be perfect for throwing on top of that. Some of it is a little more wood chippy than others. But it's still perfect. Uh, but once you get down deep, then it's almost almost turned into soil itself. So, yeah, look at this. And there's a lot of organisms. There is, there's a lot of bugs, and there's a centipede and Wait, that centipede I just saw, yep. It went under there. And we see cockroaches and a whole bunch of stuff. They're gonna help break down that wood too. It's and, all gonna be good for and it. And when they die, they, they die and turn into soil with the... Yep, the circle of life, right? So we've already gotten a couple of these wheelbarrows over. Um, I probably need to do two or three more before we fill that to where I'm happy with it. I thought you said one more. Well, one more today. We'll do a little bit more tomorrow. This has only been sitting for nine months and it's already decomposed into that. So that hugel culture bed, I mean, six months might be good enough once you throw dirt on top. I mean, you know, I thought it wasn't decomposing because I'm seeing all the wood chips on top, but it's the stuff underneath that has. So the point is you're throwing, if you throw dirt on top of the wood, it just turns into soil. Perfect. So there's some mycelia. You can see the white stuff growing all throughout. Uh, so that's, uh, here's some more. So that's really good. There's a centipede. There's a couple centipedes in there. There. Scoot it over. This kind of really filled in the gaps and covered everything when I threw that on top. So I'm just using the pitchfork and I'm moving around and having it kind of fill those gaps inside the, the logs here. After about 10, maybe 12 wheelbarrows full, I think this is full. Now I'm gonna wet this down and some of this might sink down to the bottom and I might need to add a couple more scoops on top just to make sure that, you know, everything's filled up because what can happen is I'll throw the dirt, at least I'm theorizing, I've not done this before, but I'm guessing once I throw the dirt on top, if that sinks down in between the cracks of the wood, then all of a sudden the wood's exposed again and it's not breaking down. After this sat for about an hour, I'm noticing a couple little holes and gaps, so I'm gonna fill those. I had said in a previous video, this is all unusable, but nope. And probably will get better over time. You know, a couple of you, when I had said that that was unusable, said, no, it's not, uh, it'll be good for a lot of things. And I thought, no, I'm gonna scatter a little bit of compost on top. Now this does have some chicken manure in it. There's the compost. Let's move this out of the way. Now I got a little energy. Let's start shoveling some dirt. So I've got this mostly covered, at least all the compost and wood chips and everything, mostly covered. There's a few spots over here that I'm gonna have to hit. Still got a lot of dirt. It's enough to pile this even more, which I'm gonna do. I'll finish that tomorrow. So today is Wednesday. The voice, did you, did you hear it? Harold just thought it was a Wednesday. Harold, it's okay, it's Wednesday. No, no. I it, it's gonna rain Friday, so I still have tomorrow to finish this up. I wanted to get this in before the rain hit, which I think I will. Now, one thing I'm thinking, if I could find some more logs and line this, and then when I fill that dirt up, it's not gonna roll off into the side and I almost make it like a big giant raised bed in a way. So it definitely compacted a little bit over the night. This is the next morning 
and I'm noticing it is a little lower than it was. Not a lot, but there's definitely some compaction. But I got all this wood here, and I'm not sure I have enough, honestly, but it's what I could find. Let's start shoveling. Eli's out here helping to shovel. That was a big scoop. Yeah, even Abby's out helping. I've got all the kids out here. I We're all doing it. I to help there right now. Yep. I will help. I use my wheel shovel. Thank you guys. You're welcome. It's a lot of work on Grab right there. Lift. I there. Did. So that helped. We able to kind of lift this and scoot this stuff in so so we're pretty close we brought maybe another half hour or so we got all the dirt off that and we got it on the bed so this is looking really good so now it's time to just water this heavily so that way this will not blow away and you know roll off or anything it'll kind of help compact it and keep it on there we are all done it's all wetted down so i'll bring you guys back in a couple days and i'll show you guys what this looks like after a couple of days of sitting and then keep you guys updated over the next couple months on how this looks. One week later. And we're about a weekend since I finished this. I had to tarp it because it was gonna rain then the very next day and I didn't want this to wash away. I'm gonna uncover the tarp right now, but only one side because I'm gonna keep it tarped until I can put in some cover crop. So I plan on putting in some spring wheat. Now I'm not gonna let the wheat stay until, you know, seed. But I am going to grow the wheat just to be able to use the roots to be able to hold this all together so it doesn't wash away in rains because we do get some pretty heavy rains when it rains here. I'll probably plant it next month. So I'm going to keep this tarped until next month. Now we had some pretty heavy winds, so I had to put a lot of rocks here. We already had this blow off once. It's a little windy today. What the heck is happening with the chickens over here? What's going on, guys? No snake or anything? I don't know what that could have been. This wind, uh, I'm gonna keep one side with the rocks on it because I have a feeling I'm gonna have this blow away. That's looking really good, guys. Pretty happy about that. Not a lot of erosion, hasn't really kind of come off or anything. A little dry. So I think I'm gonna bring the hose over and hose this down one more time before covering it again. Crazy amount of bugs in here. So I'm watering this and they're all coming out. Spiders and beetles and stuff, which is good. They're, they're decomposers. They're gonna help break down all this and it's gonna be good for it. My hose is caught. See if I can, there we go. All right, gotta get this tart back up. Well, there we go, guys. Got a hugu culture bed now installed. Boy, it was a lot of work, I'm gonna be honest. But from what I hear, once it's done, it's done. It's not very difficult after this to be able to maintain it and keep it working. So in about six months, I'll be growing stuff out of this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna grow. Six months from now is August. I might be able to do like a quick growing tomato bed, but I might wait until winter and actually start planting some winter veggies in here like lettuce and spinach and stuff like that. It is really windy today. I hope you guys can hear me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.